restaurant. And today I have a new delivery. So what's inside here? We open up the box. What do we have? We have this box here. We have a USB, so USB A to micro USB cable, Ethernet cable, and Ethernet cable. This box, what do we have in here? We have a power supply. So being able to use a inline injector and a power cord. Um, but if you've got PoE plus, um, then this won't be needed, so we'll lose this. And then finally, we have the Mercury Mini or MM30 is the prop name. And this is the Teams audio version. So, being able to use this as your speakerphone uh, for your Teams meetings. There we go. You know if you've got PoE. And if you don't have PoE Plus, you will get an error and it will tell you, I believe. So, uh, that will be a good indication whether your switch is set correctly. So this is the first time I'm booting it, very first time I've seen it myself. I have seen the, the MM30 in a full Microsoft Teams room mode. Um, but for here, this is the first time seeing the uh, Teams audio version. And yep, it's saying, uh, it's detects POE power. Please connect the POE Plus or UC2 power, which is in there. So now I can choose my language. So English US is good. And here we go, it's booting straight into teams so uh, we can sign in put in my uh, email address so now I'm going to sign in now it seems ready and now it's all signed in so now let's just go ahead and give it a, um, a test meeting just so we can see what it looks like and then what we'll do as well we'll also see this device in the teams admin center but we can see some options here so you can see that I'm available, that's all good. I can set my status message, I can do hot desking. I don't want to do that. Go to my settings. So it's slowly bringing over things, so it's got my picture there now. Um, it's got my different tenants and I'm in. So I can choose the dark theme if I want, delegates. Uh, my profile, so you can see my picture, my phone number, my calling options, so the different ringtones that I want and I can go to say about so again I can see this version what I'm on uh, of the teams app and I'm also in that early tap ring as well and uh, device settings so again I can see the IP address the, the firmware version of the system itself uh, I've got a volume control here as well which is nice um, and any admin settings so the default password first time you uh, log in with the password uh, you need to create a new password. So the password must be um, complex. So I must have uppercase number and special character. And now uh, I'm in here. So the display can be always on or occ occ occupancy based. So you can set a timeout of number of minutes, time. So again, again, I can do all this through the web page. And I can obviously log into the web page and set all these settings too. So I'm just going to do them here and have that format 24 hour clock. That's what we like over here. And again, I can synchronize the time. I'll take up to two minutes, it says. So now we're on the right time. Language, we set that up as we took it out of the box. So that's fine as well. Loads of different languages you can choose from. If you want to put it on Wi Fi, you can, but I've got that turned off because I'm wired. Uh, device name, um, DNS, everything else. Uh, if you want to go to debug, debug mode, and accessibility options. So just a few settings in the, uh, the admin, so not too many. Um, but yeah, there are the details, and again, we'll look through the web page in a minute, and we'll check for some updates, because there are some updates due. So calendar, I can see uh, the sort of information here. We'll see my calendar update now in a second. And we've got voicemail if any messages have been left, and people. So I can look for new people. Um, I can add people here. Look at my recent call list as well. So I can actually call someone. So I'm now making a call. 
can see, it's now ringing the other system. So that's my room system, my Microsoft Teams room, uh, ringing. And again, I can answer that. So there we have a simple call, point to point, uh, audio call. I have my volume buttons here, I've got my mute button here as well. So nice and simple to do that call. And again, I can add more people in. So I can add uh, other meeting rooms or other people into the call. Nice and simple, all native from the Teams uh, system here. So I can put on hold and uh, again, the far end says you're on hold. So they're aware of that. So these are all the native Teams functions that we have here. Uh, so I think the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's see our scheduled meeting. So we hang that up. So I go to my calendar, and uh, here we go. I've got my new new meeting here, the MM30 uh, Teams audio uh, overview, so I can see my details here. And as a user, I just come in and join the meeting. So very, very simple. Click to join, and I'm in the meeting. And I can then join from the MTR as well, so mix audio and video people together. And we are there. So. It's very simple to use this uh, Teams conference phone. So again, this will be in personal or shared mode. And also I can connect this USB cable and tether it to my laptop or desktop. And then use this as my speakerphone as well. So if I'm doing a third-party call that's not native Teams, then I've got the choice to do that as well. Or if I want to play some music, why not? So that's available to do as well. So now we'll jump over to the uh, web interface and the Teams Admin Center and we'll see uh, some of the settings and features there. So here we have the web browser. We've got the IP address of our device off um, the menu. So now we can log in. Remember we created a new username and password as we first logged in. So you could do that from the web if you wanted to do that. So we can then see the status of the system here. So um, we can see that it's online, it's occupied, what version it's running of the software, our audio. You can see it's muted, and if I just hit the button, you can see it's instant status of it changing. Again, any network details. Wi-Fi disconnected, so we know that's not there. And what mode it's running in, and if it's connected over USB. So that's the status. In the settings, we have obviously our language, our name, our standby mode memory we could change that before, your time server details, your network details, so if you want to make that uh, reserved uh, address or, or something on there. Wi-Fi again, that is disabled. Application modes, this is what the device runs in. Obviously it can run in one of three modes, and this is the, the audio version we have here. Auto update, uh, you can have this uh, here as well. Whether it talks to XIO Cloud, so that's possible too. And again, remote syslog if you need that. So this is where you have the ability to see all your devices. Now, we can see that we've got our all phones here, and there's only two. So these are other, um, the other uh, Crestron uh, UC phones, the P100 and P110. And I can look at conference phones, and I see it's not listed. So why might that be? Aha, uh -huh, there we go. As you can see, it has shown up now here in the Teams Admin Center. So this is the, the first foray. We can uh, see it here. We can then drill down into this device. You can see it's online. Again, so some of this information will take a little while to come into the Teams Admin Center while it fully synchronizes. Um, but again, I can see the device name, serial number, its activity. So again, this is all good uh, information that you see from the Teams Admin Center on the call quality. Uh, so you can drill down and find out if there's any issues on, on calls. So you can go down to the device level. And so you can see each and every leg of the journey. So for example, you see the, the operating system on the device. Um, so yeah, this is great information if you've got call quality issues on uh, the, the platform. So always uh, check in here for any issues as well. So yeah, that's the Teams Admin Center with the phone now showing up in here. So we can see that we have the device happily enrolled here now and we can see uh, all the firmware details and it's up to date. So again, the key one here is the uh, Teams app on there. And we can also see from the screen that you could also think, well, actually, why do I need to register to Intune? Is there a value in doing that? 
Uh, obviously, that's for managing your devices. You might have different administrators looking after hardware versus the Teams admin center. So that's entirely up to you whether you want to enroll it in the company portal and obviously have that license. But again, if you want to manage that device, manage the software, this is all done from here within the Teams Admin Center. So obviously that's a, an enterprise decision that you would make. It's here all up to date in the Teams Admin Center. And this is probably what's the most important, uh, being able to see it in here and see everything when uh, any history was done. Key is obviously your software is available here. And again, the software will um, auto update and you can define when you want to have an update. So. I like having things as soon as possible, obviously. So I'm going to update that now. So when I do have a new firmware available, it will push out to the to the phone. Again, this can how you can keep uh, devices, you know, like test devices, in a certain early adopter, and then another device could be, uh, i.e., production devices, can update later once you've had a chance to test it out. So, great new uh, UI on here, and. We look forward to uh, having a play and using it as my daily uh, device now when I join my Teams meetings. Any questions, let me know below and uh, catch up soon.